Hey everyone, welcome to another Foiled Mail Day episode. Today in the mail, we got a lot of cards today. That's a lot of foils. Let's pause for the titles, the title screenshot. First card up, I need to complete. I was missing an Ashog Dream Render for my sideboards. So here's that one that's missing. I believe there's a play set now. I have to go double check the binder. But there we go. You've already seen this in my previous mail days. I still like, I mean, the Planeswalkers that have the stained glass version, I do prefer those versions over the normal ones. I think they look better. This one's not too curled. It's like manageable. So it was good because these were, you know, notorious for curling. Up next, something I'm proud of, another trade and I did for my previous time warps. I had the Judge promo time warps, I believe. Which I liked, but this one I like much more. And honestly, realistically, I like the original Time Warp art, the big wave, but the foil versions are just absolutely nuts. I just refuse to pay that much. And I really like this art, and it's blue and purple, and you know me, shiny things, and it's even worse when it's blue and purple. So I said, you know what, I'm going to do an upgrade, and this is it, this is the last upgrade. I think even if they ever reprint the, the original Time Warp art, I don't care. I'm sticking to this. I really like the Mystical Archive foiling process anyway, and I really enjoyed the art, so for me this is a win. Just look at that up close. Beautiful. Beautiful foiling. That's my playset of Time Warps for my Team Returns deck, which is a very fun and fair time to extra turns deck. And people don't, you know, people always make fun of me when I say that, but it's totally fair for an extra turn stack. It's totally fair for an extra turn stack, right? I'm gonna make that clarification. Okay, up next, another trade-in I did. I guess I guess this is the theme, and a lot of trade-ins. I had originally gotten Jason Mind Sculptor, the Secret Lair version or, or something. It was a special promo there, it was like it was just a different darker version of Jace. It's the only other extended art version of Jace, basically, the Mind Sculptor. And I was really disappointed with it because I found it to be way too dark, way too dark. Um, it just didn't look good. It looked even worse in foil and the artwork was really hidden. I never liked it and I finally decided, you know what, I'm tired of this. We'll just go OG art, original Jason Mind Sculptor art, full art, you know, the full art foil. And that looks beautiful. Look at that. Much better. You could actually see what's going on on the card. And I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Too bad Jace isn't that strong in modern. It's kind of hilarious. But it is what it is. Of course, I got my playset. There we go. I placed some number of these in my extra turns decks. So, beautiful. Up next. Oh, no. I forgot about the uh, the other Ashok Dream Render. So, there it is. That's the second one. So, I guess I was missing two. And now you know. Oh, man. Production error. That's a bad production error. Okay, let's get let's get serious. Glass pool mimic coming out of my is it giants deck? Remember that is it giants deck, which was horrible to build, but ended up you know the final version was actually pretty fun to play and pretty powerful. Well, I played some number of glass pool mimics in there. I really enjoy the art. I love this art in the back. Although this is not why, obviously this this, ver, this side is not why you're playing it in Is It Giants, but that artwork, beautiful. It's rare that I say this, but I actually find the foil made it worse, at least for the back art here. I, 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 I think it's fine. Really loving that effect on that shapeshifter's hand right there. Very nice foiling. Yeah, I got a play set of these. Funnily enough, I didn't, you know, normally when there are flip cards, I get like the flip version, so I get extras. I didn't in the case of Glass Pool Mimic, but I think that's because I know I'm almost certainly never gonna flip it to the other side when I'm playing with it, so I just got four. I didn't want to spend the extra money. Up next, Thunder's Wrath. Remember my Is It, uh, is it Wizards deck that I recently deck teched? Well, I decided to play Thunder's Wrath in it, 
And uh, here we go. Oh, my cat. Matt, that's my cat. I might have to pause and get him out or else he's just going to keep meowing. But there's Thunderous Wrath. This one's a bit scratched up, but I think there was really only one printing of Thunderous Wrath. And there we go. Looking good. It was kind of hilarious to play it in Is It Wizards because literally none of your opponents expect it. And boom, five damage right there. And you're triggering a bunch of effects on your wizards. And you're winning the game. Speaking of wizards, up next. Also debuting in that deck, Storm Chaser Mage. Very rare that you get to play Storm Chaser Mage in Modern, and I managed to find a spot for it. My cat right now, curling up on its back, wanting its owner's attention. He'll get it in a few minutes. So there is Storm Chaser Mage and Foil. Looking good, looking good. Really liking the electrical effects. I feel like they could have done more on the foiling on this. I mean, they were like, ah, whatever, it's an uncommon, forget it. But I think they could have put a bit more effort. But it looks good overall. Still think it looks good. Also fun to play with. Flying Haste Pro S13. Very fun to play with. Very potent. Not a lot of flyers in modern even today. And there we go, there is the full playset. And that's it for today's mail day. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about my foil choices, my art choices, what you would have chosen instead. I always love conversing with you down there in that comment section. And yeah, stay tuned for more of these. There's always more mail days and other foiled related episodes coming up on Wednesdays. So if you enjoyed this one, there's plenty, plenty of you to watch already and more to come. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy my content in general, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. It really goes a long way. It helps me out a lot. If you want to become a member here on YouTube, hit that join button, which should be in and around that subscribe button. Check out the different membership tiers and the different perks you get at each tier. You know, I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube community officially as a member. And I think the membership tiers are pretty interesting. Have some cool little features in there. So check it out. I would really appreciate your support. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, share my content on social media, watch my content start to finish like you're doing right now. It really does go a long way, so thank you for that. Lastly, if you want to become a patron, check out the Patreon link in the description of this video. Check out the Patreon Rewards Program. In a nutshell, you give me money every month. I use that money to buy a sealed product, which I open up on this channel, and then I give you back that money in the form of rares and mythics at the end of every year. The longer you're a patron, the more rares and mythics you get. Basically, one rare mythic for every month that you're a patron. And the value of those rares are anything really between three and fifteen dollars. Some of them go even higher, as you know. So even if you average out about five a month, five dollars per rare, that's five a month. You get your money back, but odds are you'll make more. Anyway, all that information is on Patreon. There's a video on there that explains it all. We really appreciate your support either way. Thanks, and have a good one.